boys. Another beautiful day out here in Bangor, Maine. As you can see, I have all of the new solar panels unboxed. They're just chilling here for now. Uh, my uncle's here for the week, so if we get into making some mounting for this, I'll let you guys know. But my cousin has warned him that some of you guys, right, not all, just saying some of you guys are a little weird, little creepy, little stalkery, little scrandy, and he wishes to remain off camera. So unfortunately, I can't really daily vlog this week because if he's going to be doing a lot of the work, um, you know, it's going to be hard to film that when he's doing the work and I can't film him if that makes any sense. But I guess I'll just keep you guys posted. You hear him over there with the cobalt chainsaw. So he's kind of, he's over there cleaning up Tornado Alley for me a little bit um, because we're thinking about putting the solar array over there where it's nice and sunny, as you can see right there on the other side of the cabin. Um, yeah, we just made a fat supply run um, and he's gonna do the interior of the cabin as well. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just kinda film for the whole week, put it in one video. Um, yeah, something like that probably. So you guys saw the other video with what the cabin looked like on the inside. I'll keep you guys posted as the job goes on um, but yeah so possible solar panel mounting this week uh, but definite at least having like sheetrock up and floor in at the bare minimum for the cabin so yeah should be a fun week it's gonna rain in a couple days so um, we're cut we're trying to save the interior stuff for uh, when it's raining out because right now it's beautiful and we're trying to get like more of the outdoorsy kind of stuff taken care of so yeah should be should be fun uh, like i said i'm gonna just maybe film for the whole week put it in one video we'll see how that goes yeah so i guess enjoy this all right i haven't really filmed too too much but we are on i, I want to say day three here maybe day four i forgot but yeah, we're getting the interior going pretty good. It's starting to rain. So, yeah, we're just kind of just trying to keep dry and yeah, little by little. But I think my uncle is only able to stay up here for like another five or six days or something like that anyway. So we'll see how much we could get done in that time. Um, But yeah, it's coming along. So having a good time. It's not super cold yet, so, uh, yeah, it's not, like, I don't have to run the generator or anything for heat quite yet, or use, like, a propane heater, so just making good use of the remaining of the warm days, even though it's not warm. I'm in a hoodie, but it's probably, like, 65, 70 during the day, like, 49, 50-ish at night, so... It's definitely doable with some good blankets, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, the solar array is complete. It is a little windy, so excuse the windiness in the audio, but we still have a few days left here to sort the interior of this out, which there's, you can see my pile of flooring right there. But yeah, this was definitely a very difficult project, not gonna lie, with just two people and no crane or anything because that right there is 12 feet high. So right here, it was very difficult. I had to pull the Baconator up behind it and hoist the panels up one by one while he was on a ladder, screw them in. It was, it was quite challenging, so yeah. Look at this beautiful, beautiful array. Oh my goodness. All right, we're uh, finally installing the Mr. Cool. And uh, they include a hole saw in the kit, which is pretty cool. L hey, a little bit more. So we got a hole saw the side of the building out here and then run the lines down, put the little outdoor unit thing here. So this video is indeed sponsored by Mr. Cool. All right, well. Nice big asshole in a new building. All right, we're getting the outdoor unit 
mounted and wired up here. As you can see, the refrigerant lines are not yet hooked up. They include all the tools as well. And they make this, you cannot even boof this. They make this so easy. Look, they're literally labeled one, two, three. Like you could see the two on this wire. So they make it basically dummy proof. And as you can see, it is a 115 volt. So you don't need a 240 volt circuit. Yep, we're doing a, we're going with the off the ground mount approach here. So here is the line guard kit as well so from here we got to like put the backing down and then put the covers on I'll, we'll show that when it's done but the inside unit is done as you can see there nice and plumbed we got that all gasketed out so yeah so far so good all right once again everyone sorry for the wind sound uh we're getting the little last tail end of fiona up here at this current moment but as you can see we got the mr cool all set up the line guard everything's looking beautiful looking legit this looks sketchy but i promise you if you watch all of the tutorials that everyone's got if you read through the manual it literally says to coil up the excess refrigerant lines and just put them somewhere safe so that is exactly what we did i it's not visually appealing obviously but that's literally what they tell you to do. That's what every single install on YouTube does unless they move that so far away that this can unravel all the way. But everyone has excess uh, refrigerant line and when they do, they coil it up and they just kind of put it off to the side there. So we just tested it. Um, we had They say in the instruction manual to run cooling for 10 minutes and then switch it over to heat, run heat for 10 minutes. Cooling worked phenomenal, heat worked phenomenal. I'm really excited to test the limits of this thing out here in the Bangor winters. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold up to their claims of they say it can be negative 13 degrees outside and it will still heat your house. So I will report back, uh, you know, later in the season because obviously right now it's probably 65 degrees. So um, this will obviously make the inside. I think the max temp I saw on the controller was 86 degrees. So this will easily do 86 degrees at this current moment. So yeah, then we got this absolutely big, beautiful solar array. Um, I'm gonna relocate this dirt pile. So as you can see right there, that bottom corner of that panel, I'm just gonna slice this back and then just throw it all that way. Just so you can see the sun is up here. And when it sunsets down this way, I'll lose a little bit uh, to this pile right here. So I will fix that, but at peak sunshine, when the sun is like noon, one, two o'clock, and it's like up over here, 100% coverage, no shade whatsoever. Absolutely wonderful placement, minus the movable dirt pile here. But yeah, so for anyone wondering, we used four by four posts into the ground, and then you could see right there is a two by 10 all pressure treated everything and it's super sturdy like i said we're getting 40 50 mile an hour gusts of wind last night there was so much wind the rv was literally rocking back and forth and some of these really skinny trees were literally bending like that far thing was rock stable i went under there and i just kind of was like feeling all the boards see what had play and the things meant you can see on every uh whatever these are called every up to down there's hurricane brackets um, and then check that out. I got the Mahindra under there, little Mahindra storage area. Obviously it's gonna get a little wet. There's gaps between the panels, but the Mahindra, it will stay out of the sun and uh, it won't turn that ugly pink, hopefully, but it'll get wet a little bit still. But over there is pretty nice of a spot to put the Mahindra instead of on the side of the trailer. Huge shout out to Mr. Cool. Uh, links in the description for the Mr. Cool 12K DIY. You don't need to mess with 240 volt circuit. As you can see right there, 115 volts, super ultra beginner friendly. Um, yeah, and it cleans up real nice. They give you everything you need, the gaskets and everything so that you don't get rain in the house. So yeah, 10 out of 10 ease of install, 10 out of 10 product, heat works great, AC works great. Highly recommend it if this is something you're trying to do for your schoolie, van life, tiny home rv life any of those this is beautiful so yeah check out mr cool diy link in the description 
give you one more look here. 